from losing the fan favorite Tess to the tragic life of Bill and Frank, HBO's The Last of Us was filled with heartbreaking moments, starting with Dr. Pertiwi facing the truth. Ini opiocordisep. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorazol untuk mempersiapkan slide? In the first scenes of the second episode of the show, we learned about the history of the infection, where it came from, and how one mycologist was confused by it. After Dr. Pertiwi looks at a dead, infected body, she figures out what needs to be done to save the world. In a new scene that wasn't in either game, Dr. Pertiwi got emotional when she told the officials that there was no cure for the infection, and that they had to begin bombing major cities to stop it from spreading. At the end of the scene, the doctor asked with tears in her eyes if she could be with her family before it was all over. I have to say, watching the doctor slowly lose control over her emotions while realizing what happened was scary, but not as heartbreaking as the next one, especially for those who have played the game. Of course, I'm talking about Tess's death. Oops. I, I need you to get her to Bill and Frank's. No. They'll take her off your hands. They'll handle it from here. No, 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 I can't. They won't take her. Th when Joel and Tess got together 20 years into the infection, both gamers and viewers fell in love with them right away. Tess easily shot Ellie's sass back at her, and between her and Joel, she was often the more level-headed one. Tess died a brave death when she gave herself up to a group of infected so that Joel and Ellie could get away. After saying goodbye to her love, she blew up the building they were all in and let herself be eaten by the infected. Although, in the games, that's not exactly how it happens. She stays behind to ward off some incoming Firefly soldiers so that Ellie and Joel can escape and get shot dead. Nonetheless, both these moments were equally crushing. Joel and Ellie's relationship is a special one, and whenever they aren't on good terms with each other, it makes the audience sad, which is why their fight was so upsetting to many of us. In the episode Ken, Joel and Ellie's adventure started when they were welcomed into a town called Jackson. I came here to save you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. It's been a while since we've had a proper meal. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a proper meal. This is fucking amazing. There, Joel was surprised to see his brother Tommy again, but a heartwarming reunion almost turned into a sad goodbye for another pair. When Joel makes the hard decision to have Tommy take Ellie the rest of the way, they fight because Ellie thinks Joel is going to leave her. It's the first time Ellie shows Joel how much she cares about their friendship and how much it would hurt if Joel ended it. That was not an easy sequence to get through. Both the characters have their own heavy baggage to carry, but they almost look at ease when they're with each other. So to watch them fight, wasn't easy at all. The next is another sequence that wasn't in the game but still made for a very sad moment, Anna's death. You fucking tell him that we It's okay. At the beginning of the season finale, Ellie's mom, Anna, was briefly shown. Anna was played by Ellie's voice actress in the games, Ashley Johnson. She's pregnant and running for her life. She finds shelter in an empty house and goes into labor just as a clicker starts to break through the door. From the time Ellie was born to the time Marlene had to kill Anna after the clicker bit her, the whole scene makes people feel sad because of how much Anna loves her daughter, how she lost her life to the clicker, and how we had to watch the first Ellie die so that a new one could be born. But that's no match for how Henry and Sam's death was just painful. That's just redundant. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Henry, give me the gun. Henry, give me the gun. What did I do? When Henry and Sam were introduced at the halfway point of the season, they helped Joel and Ellie get out of town and away from Fedra by working together. Fans of the games, on the other hand, knew that the episode would end badly for the most popular brothers. When Ellie found out that Sam had been bitten, she gave him some of her immune blood in hopes that it would help. However, the next morning, Sam turned into an infected person and attacked Ellie. Sam had to be killed, and Henry was so upset that he realized he couldn't live without his little brother that he shot himself in the head. Honestly, this one has to be one of the most shocking moments in a show or a game ever. But not as shocking as when Riley and Ellie get bitten. What are you talking about, Riley? It's over. It will be, but not yet. 
They could just be all poetic and shit and lose our minds together. In the episode about the events of The Last of Us Left Behind, viewers get a look at Ellie's life before she ran away with Joel. They see how close she was with her best friend Riley, who took her on one last adventure before she told him she was leaving to join the Fireflies. When an infected person attacks them after a night of playing arcade games, dancing around a Halloween store, and riding a carousel, both of them have bite marks. And then you realize that they're going to die, just as their relationship is getting started. Riley and the audience's hearts break when Ellie destroys a glass display case in the Halloween store with a baseball bat in anger. Truly a heartbreaking scene. The next one was very subtle, which made it even tougher to digest. The story behind Joel's scar broke my heart. When I got bit in the mall, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like Throughout the season, Joel and Ellie kept their hurts from the past from each other. Ellie never talked about Riley, and Joel never wanted to talk about Sarah. But in the last episode of the season, Joel finally told how he got a scar, which made everyone cry. Joel told Ellie that he was the person who shot at him and missed, which suggests that he tried to kill himself after his daughter died. Ellie says that time heals all wounds. Joel looks at her and says it wasn't time that did that, implying that it was Ellie who helped Joel get over the loss of Sarah. Now, I can bet that this scene definitely resulted in a lot of tears. Speaking of Sarah, her relationship with Joel was a very cute yet short part of the show, which made this next moment unbearable. Sarah's death was a defining moment, to say the least. The first episode of The Last of Us, in which viewers met Joel and his daughter Sarah and saw how close they were and how much Joel cared about her, played with viewers' emotions. By the end of the episode, however, Joel lost everything. Sarah's death is the first of the series' many unexpected turns. It happened when Joel carried his hurt daughter to safety. When they were fired at before they could get there, Joel was unhurt thanks to Tommy, but Sarah died in her father's arms from a gunshot wound. But that was no match for Bill and Frank's tragic love story. Bill and Frank's relationship wasn't explored in the game at all, but when it was in the show, it made for the saddest episode of the series, if we're being honest. It's easy to say that Long Long Time, also called Bill and Frank's episode was the saddest episode of the whole season. But if you ask me, it was the conclusion that really got people. After watching Bill and Frank spend a lifetime together after the end of the world, the episode ended in a way that reminded me of Romeo and Juliet. After Bill finds out that Frank is dying of an illness, Frank tells him that he would like for him to end his pain peacefully. Even though Bill was reluctant to let his lover end his life, he did so anyway. In the most romantic and heartbreaking breaking moment of the season, Bill chose to end his own life along with Frank. This episode completely broke everyone's hearts, and it's one of the most praised episodes of the show. That's all for the most heartbreaking moments of The Last of Us. 